Hey guys, let's try this graph of modulus. Well, let's start with the basics. We know the y equals to x graph. It looks something like this. Okay, a straight line. I don't want to put everything there. Now, what happens if I put a modulus for the x? What will happen? Well, the positive part, it remains the same. It will still be there. But for the negative part here, instead of going down, it goes up. It's like a mirror. It's a reflection of it. So it becomes both of them are positive. Why does this happen? Well, basically, when x, where well, I put the like, x on the left, when x is modulus, I mean, what does modulus does? A positive and negative number, you always give a positive number. So negative 3 becomes 3, negative 2 becomes 2, negative 1 becomes 1. And the positive still remain the same. So that's why you can see here, if here is 3, the result here is 3. And if here is negative 3, the results goes to 3. It goes to the same place. Now what about for the domain and the range for this case? Well, the domain and range... One moment. As you can see here from the x-axis, if I go up, I can always meet the graph and go so goes for the negative part. So the, the domain is all real numbers for the x-axis. But for the y-axis, for the range is quite different. Because here I'll smith the graph for the positive 0 until infinity. But here, there's no graph at all. So for the range is 0 until infinity. The next question I would like to ask you, does 0 include it? The answer is yes, because you, we got to know that 0 modulus gives you 0. If there is results, then you can hit there, so it's a closed bracket. Okay? I have one more example of a modulus that I find always interesting for me. Okay, so let's have a look, you know this graph, y equals sine, sine x, where it will always be a repeated case for 1 until negative 1. Now, I'm asking you, what will happen if I do myself y equals to modulus sine x? Well, what do we know about uh, modulus? It changes the negative answer to a positive and retain a positive answer as a positive answer. So the positive part, it retains there. No the problem, still retain. Oops, sorry. Now, what happened to this negative? It goes here. And it can go and so on. So if I were to draw the graph again, sorry if not drawing that beforehand, it will look something like this. And same for the negative part. So remember that um, my advice if you want to draw for the modulus graph, draw the original graph and then modulus it up. Change the negative into positive. So you can get this kind of complex graph. <laughs> okay, so now let's have a look on this case y equals to modulus x plus 3 and y equals to x plus 3 and but then only you modulus it up what's the difference between two of them well we if you have gone through to my linear graph you can see that this plus 3 that we have a shift and this one is a bit different so let me reveal a bit the shifting will go something like this okay sorry i missed my x and y it goes to up instead of starting at the origin now it goes up okay the domain still remain as or in numbers because now we goes up we can still hit the graph but for the range is different over here you won't hit the graph you won't hit the graph you won't hit the graph but only here you will hit the graph so it starts to hit the graph when it's 3 so it starts from 3 to infinity or you can just say that hey just now I start at 0 so now I shift up here so it start at 3 ok hopefully you got a simple concept but this one here is a bit different because right now, you need to calculate this one first. Where y equals to x plus 3, where you need to just consider the inside value of the modulus equals to 0. So you got yourself x equals to negative 3. So what will it do? Well, it turns out the graph shifted left. Okay? How do I know negative 3 as I've calculated just now? So, y equals to, where, you do, where you need to do inside equals to 0. You get yourself x equals to negative 3. Okay? But for this kind of case, 
you can see the domain it remains as all real numbers but the range remain as zero so it doesn't shift up so the range remain the same it doesn't hit the domain because you can still hit the graph wherever you go okay hopefully you got this concept let's move on okay now so what do you think of this where y equals to model x minus 3 and y equals to x minus 3 then only you model the setup okay so we have learned just now when it's outside negative 3 well just now if you do plus 3 it shifted up so for minus 3 it will shift down so for this kind of case x minus 3 when modulus as i recommend to you just now we do the inside first we calculate the inside equals to 0 x minus 3 x minus 3 equals to 0 x equals to 3 okay so for this one here it will shift down because this thing is outside when it's inside we shift left or right which should i recommend you to memorize it i don't really i recommend you do this one more because things can get complicated with maths i'll show you soon right so let's have a look Ta -da! so yeah i've mentioned just now negative three it shifted down from here we since we got ourselves as three so it shift to the right by three okay the domain remains the same for for x modulus x minus three the modulus uh, the domain is or your numbers for the range is negative three until infinity and i recommend you from the graph only you start to deduce what kind of range and domain you're going to get for this one here for modulus x minus three all of them x minus three modulus and it shifted up shift shifted right and the domain is all real numbers and the range has remained at zero until infinity because it, the graph remains the same at this place okay okay now what about this one where for the first one there's a modulus negative x when the negative is inside it the second one the negative only you modulus x where the negative is outside of the graph outside of the x okay outside of the modulus sorry so how will the graph looks like well, I highly recommend you have a look. Okay, before we draw the graph, why don't we look at a bit of theory? Okay, so for the case of negative inside, well, if we got ourselves a negative three x, for the value of x, we got ourselves a negative three. It multiply with the negative, we got our positive. So modulus positive, we still give you three. But let's say for this one here, let's say when the x is two, I multiply with negative. But modulus, it always give you turn out to be a positive graph. So for this kind of case, the graph will remain the same value. Okay, but for this case where the negative is outside, well, remember what does modulus does? It positive uh, the answers. But when I get the positive three, like let's say for this one here, negative three and I modulus it, I get myself as three and I multiply by negative, I now I get myself a negative. Okay, so what happened on this one? It always gives you a negative answer. Well, for this one here, the negative inside so it doesn't disturb things out since this negative is outside it always multiply with the positive and give you negative so the graph here it looks something like this okay i mentioned just now it gives you the same graph but for this one here it turns the graph upside down okay for the domain and range for the first case it got the same but the for second case where negative outside the graph the range is negative infinity until zero you need to start from here so negative infinity you hit the graph until zero and up here you will not hit any graph at all okay so that's why you got that okay now what about this one where y equals to negative x and plus three but i recommend you remember how does this graph looks like first well, as we have mentioned just now is that it goes this way okay so plus 3 and negative 3 when it's outside what does it really does what does it really do it, it will go shift up or shift down so this kind of graph is what you will get okay you may pause the video for if you want to read in details i have touched it multiple times so i don't think i need to now what about this one okay the negative is outside and then now right now i plus 3 and minus 3 from the inside as i've told you just now always calculate inside okay uh, firstly draw this graph which gives you this way and plus 3 and minus 3 always check out where the inside is equal to 0 and you can get yourself this kind of graph x plus 3 equals to 0 x plus 3 equals to 0 so x equals to negative 3 
in this kind of case x minus 3 where the inside equals to 0 x equals to 3 and domain and range remains the same for this kind of case all right you may pause the video if you want to read it in details okay so this is a final quiz for you let's say quiz so how do you think does the graph looks like you may pause the video for you to think well if you're ready okay let's see the answers are you sure you're ready pause the video first before you do okay if i were you if i were to start this case i will do this kind of steps firstly i'll do x plus 3 i'll do the things this thing first okay you can do multiple ways Firstly, I do the things inside, where I say the inside is as a negative. Inside equals to 0, so x plus 3, x minus 3. So it goes shift to the left. Alright? And then, after I shift to the left, then only I consider this negative. What will it do to the graph? Well, negative outside will change your graph from positive. It will flip down to negative. So let's see whether we got the same thing. Yes, we got the same thing. It flipped down. And then only I do this minus 5 outside here. Minus 5 outside will shift up or shift down. So, minus 5, it will shift down by minus 5. Okay, maybe I write a bit. So, shift down minus 5. So, instead of just now, the negative 3 here, it will remain here negative 3. But instead of the other origin, just now it goes down here it's not negative 3 0 so it goes negative 5 okay and yes you may want to calculate this value here with this intercept this intercept is when x equals to 0 so let x equals to 0 because this one x is 0 so y equals to negative 0 plus 3 minus 5 so minus 3 minus 5 minus 8 so down here is minus 8 okay i hope you got the ideas if you you may comment share like and subscribe okay if you have any question just comment down below and i'll answer your question all right so yeah the domain for this case is all real numbers because i can always hit the graph but the range here the highest that it can go is only start at negative at negative 5 you hit the graph you hit the graph but over here let's say here is negative 3 i won't hit the graph so the range is negative infinity until negative 5. Alright. Please comment, share, and subscribe. And let's continue on for the next graph, which is modulus. Thank you for watching.